Well, howdy folks, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing really good. Well, if you've been following along on this channel, you guys know I've been kind of tinkering on this old harmony here that belongs to a good friend of mine. This is first guitar, so I've been kind of going the extra mile on this one. I, I really, it's been quite a challenge, first of all, but I really want to see if I can bring this back and get it playing as good as it can. So, uh, we've done a lot of stuff to it already. We refretted it, new tuners, I fixed some bracing and stuff inside, but it still needed a neck reset. So, I had built a brand new neck removal jig uh, a few videos back, if you guys want to check that out. So, I was anxious to try it out, so I put it on the guitar, got all, all the tools laid out, get everything going, drilled a couple holes, and put some probes in, you know, in case there was a dovetail in there, that's what we hope for, or some sort of mortise joint, and uh, I couldn't get anything to move, nothing, so I went in along the uh, heel and the body joint and took a razor uh, knife and made sure I was cut through the lacquer as good as I could, it was about an eighth of an inch thick in that corner, all piled up. So I'm, I'm thinking that's probably holding some of it as well. Still nothing. So as it turns out, uh, the uh, nice people at Harmony, uh, at least the factory in Korea back in the uh, 80s, were uh, using five dowel pins. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, here's the model of the guitar. Hopefully you guys can see that. Not that people are doing neck resets on these harmonies, but, you know, if you run into this scenario where it's somebody's first guitar, it has a lot of sentimental value, and you want to get it playing again, there you go. Uh, I was very fortunate to get that out of there as clean as I did. I mean, that's not too bad considering okay you know i didn't break nothing in here either i didn't even break any of the pins you can see how much lacquer i had to cut through so anyways i took the jig off and uh, took my palette knife after i had cut cut through the lacquer and basically i just got a nice groove cut with the razor knife and i've got this super thin I mean, very thin. And I just kind of tapped on it with a hammer. And I heated it up first and put it in that, you know, knife cut. Tapped on it with a hammer. Just gently worked my way down each side of the heel. Probably ten rounds a piece each side, okay? And, uh, you know, I was really trying to be cautious not to break the guitar and whatnot so finally after I got in there enough I tapped it in and I heard this noise I was like oh maybe there's a bolt in there so I was looking the heel over I couldn't see any cover-ups or anything I knew there wasn't in, uh, one in the neck block so I figured it was a wooden dowel well as I got it spread open I discovered five of them like I said so, uh, you know, there's that. You can run into this uh, just unknowingly. And the thing of it is, you know, once you unhook the fretboard extension and you start, like, cutting lines and doing this stuff, there's really no turning back. So <laughs> you, you uh, reach this point where the nerves just go away and it's just, you know, basically this. I got to get this thing off here one way or the other and just try to find the cleanest way to do it. Now, when I pulled the uh, neck off, the truss rod was like this. The nut on the end was just basically hitting half of this, this uh, kind of unistrut here. Now, it's all loose in there too, which isn't really ideal. What I'll end up doing probably is uh, just 
you know, snugging that up so it just rests against there. And I'm going to put some super glue on each side of it to hold it, like some medium viscosity Gorilla Glue. And uh, keep it from turning because it's spun inside the uh, slot here, okay? And that's why it was like this. It was tight, but it wasn't really doing much because this was just spinning, all right? It was basically a washer at that point. So we got to fix that. Uh, a few other little things. Uh, I think what we'll end up doing now is probably, uh, there's no doubt about it, the dowel, the dowels are going to go. And, uh, you know, I can't, I can't reuse those. Not that I would anyway. I would never do that to somebody else. So um, what we'll do is make a bolt-on conversion. And, uh, you know, these, these may help me for alignment a little bit, but uh, they're going to get cut off. I might just leave a couple little nubs on the top just for when I'm fitting this guitar because it's going to go from nothing to whatever I remove off the heel. Now, I do have my mark from where I marked it with my jig. And uh, like I said, this is nice and clean. And I may possibly be able to work it out where I can uh, recess uh, an anchor in one of these holes. Maybe just enlarge it, put an anchor in there. I might even do two. We'll see. Uh, but I do have these to go by, you know, as far as drilling through the neck block and having that line up. But the first thing we're going to have to do is, is uh, get some of this lacquer off. The lacquer and paint is, I'm not kidding you, it's, it's, it's close to an eighth of an inch thick right there around the body. And, you know, it was a lot to cut through, but like I said, that was the only option was just to keep heating and uh, kind of melting my way in as I went. And light taps, like I said. And this has been thinned down many, many times. So uh, I just kind of keep that around. Usually it's just for doing the uh, fretboard extensions, which, you know, that came off really nice. Not a lot of glue on this thing, honestly. Uh, I can see just a little bit of glue on the end of that dowel pin. And the holes are even clean inside. So they didn't do a lot of gluing. You can see the, the residuals. It was done in haste, let's just say that. But uh, now that I've got it off, very happy that I have it off, we can uh, do the rest of the work pretty easy. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the angle... Uh, cut off the heel or you know I'll probably do some sandpaper pulls uh, what they call neck flossing and uh, we'll get that fit nice and check the angle again once we get it exactly where we want it we'll uh, uh, once again drill through the uh, neck block put an anchor in the heel and then we'll have a bolt on and we'll glue the uh, fretboard extension back down onto the body as well. So if you ever have to take it off again, you'll have to, uh, you know, hot knife the extension off and then just take the bolt out. And that works just fine. Surprised nobody come up with this a long time ago. Like, instead of gluing them, let's just put bolts in it and be done with it. As long as you got a nice surface that's... Uh, you know, correct on both faces, your heel and your body. That's really a, a, a no-brainer in my book, but a lot of people are doing the bolt-on thing too, which, you know, I get it. It's a lot easier. It's a lot quicker to fit these together when you're building them, and it works just fine. As long as you get these, uh, you know, lined up correctly, you got to have the anchor lined up perfectly with the uh, hole that you drill through the neck block. You know, and you, you want that hole not too big, so you don't want the bolt flopping around so it can walk. It's going to have to be the right diameter, so when you put the bolt through, it's going to be, you know, pretty close. 
not a lot of slop around it just enough to get it through there and i think we'll be in good shape for sure very lucky with this one like i said that could have went very wrong you know <clears throat> when when you're yanking on this stuff uh you know if you break something out like that or if you got it in a neck jig and you're pushing you know you can destroy the whole uh front part of the guitar here which wouldn't be good you know you got a lot of neck block here but on each side of it that force is still going to get kind of transferred there somewhere and you know more than likely you're going to break the heels too so you just don't know it's one of them things i you know i did learn a lesson like if that doesn't move with a neck jig and the proper heat then you got to look a little deeper there's a good chance it's probably going to be doweled or somebody has uh, sunk a screw through the heel and masked it off nice so you couldn't see it maybe you ought to have a metal detector in there or something that'd be a good way to check for bolts i guess anyways uh thanks again for watching folks i'll keep you updated on this one i'm going to uh do some more uh sanding and try to get this kind of knocked down here because i am going to shrink the profile of this as i sand it some and uh, it's going to kind of step in there and i don't want it sitting on this big thick ridge so i'm going to probably trim a little bit of that out as I go along, uh, maybe just, you know, as I get the angle changed, I'll just have to keep checking it, maybe trying to make some pencil marks there or something along it, and uh, kind of go from there. It's going to be one of those fit it as you go things. It's just how you got to do it. Well, anyway, thanks again, folks. I thought this might help, you know, if somebody out there is attempting something like this. And it won't come off with a neck jig. Pretty good chance it's going to be something like that. This is a Korean made harmony. Alright, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys real soon. Be good. Okie doke.